Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Matter Matter is classified as being pure or impure. Pure matter is further classified as elements and compounds, whereas impure matter is said to be a mixture. Let us understand what are mixtures now. For that, let's take a very tasty example, the bail. Bail is made up of so many things, tomatoes, onions, puffed rice, different kinds of chutneys, etc. Due to which it has a spicy and tangy taste. Now, all these constituents in the bail, are they chemically combining with each other and forming anything new? Are they losing out on their properties? No. The tomato in the bale is still a tomato. It has not lost its properties. The onion is still onion. That means the constituents in the bale have not chemically combined and they have not lost their original properties. They are giving their own taste in the bale. Secondly, in this mixture, are all the constituents present in a fixed proportion? If I want to add some more tomatoes to the bale, can I do that? Of course I can do. Is there any rule that there, are, there is only a fixed proportion of tomatoes to be put in the bale? No. So, in a mixture, the constituents are present in any proportion and they do not chemically combine. They retain their original properties. One more thing. Suppose in the bale, I do not like onions. Can I just throw the onions out of the bale with my own hands? Of course, I can do that. So, to separate the constituents of bale, it is easy just by physical means. So, let us define what is a mixture. Mixtures are constituted by more than one form of pure matter known as a substance. And the substances present in the mixture are in any proportion. We have already studied the properties of mixture through this bale. Let us quickly revise them. The first property says that a mixture can be subdivided into simpler substances by physical means like hand picking, by holding a magnet, etc. For example, if we have iron and if we have sulfur, we just mix them. Now, is it possible to remove iron from sulfur? Yes, just hold a magnet over it. All the iron particles will stick to the magnet. So, it is very easy to subdivide a mixture. The second property says that in a mixture, the constituents are not present in a fixed proportion. They are present in any proportion. If we have to mix iron and sulfur, we can mix it in any proportion. Even in bale, we can mix substances in any proportion as we wish to. The next property says that the constituents of a mixture retain their original properties. Right now in the mixture of iron and sulfur, iron is still iron, sulfur is still sulfur, they have not lost their original properties. Now let us take some examples of mixtures. We have water, we mix sugar in it and we dissolve some rose syrup in it. Now this is a sherbet. Is this a mixture? Yes, it is because the constituents have not chemically combined. They are still present as themselves. Let's consider one more mixture. We have water and we mix mud in it. Has the mud dissolved in the water? No. Can you just see the mud in present in the water? Yes. Now, what is the difference between both the mixtures? In the first case, if you just look at the mixture, will you be able to identify what things are mixed inside the mixture? No. But if you look at the second mixture, just by looking, you can say that the mixture contains water and maybe mud. This is because in the first case, the constituents are uniformly mixed. Whereas in the second case, the constituents are not uniformly mixed. Now, when we divide this sherbet into two glasses, will both the glasses have the same taste of the sherbet? Yes, they will be equally sweet because the sugar has dissolved completely and uniformly throughout the sherbet. But when we talk about the second mixture, when we divide this mixture into two glasses, will both the glasses have same amount of mud in them? No, because the mud is not uniformly dissolved inside the water. 
So the first mixture is called a homogeneous mixture. Whereas the second mixture is called the heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixtures are those mixtures in which the constituents are uniformly mixed throughout. Whereas heterogeneous mixtures have distinct parts and are made up of constituents which are not uniformly mixed throughout. Let's consider some examples and let's classify them as being homogeneous or heterogeneous. Bale. What is it? The bale has distinct parts. That means bale is heterogeneous mixture. Let's talk about copper sulphate solution. Copper sulphate is a blue salt. When you dissolve it in water, can you see the water and copper sulphate particles different from each other now? No, they have uniformly mixed. So, copper sulphate solution is a homogeneous mixture. What about mud water? Heterogeneous again. What about salt water? Homogeneous because once you mix the salt inside water, you cannot see the salt very different from water particles. It is uniformly mixed now. Now we know that mixtures are homogeneous or heterogeneous, but we do not know one thing. All the homogeneous mixtures are called solutions. Whereas heterogeneous Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.